Let's take a look at the rules of logarithms. So there are a whole bunch of rules. I'll go through them. First rule is when you have x equals log ab, that implies, and for me you need an implies arrows here when you're converting, that implies that a is the base, x is the exponent, and b is the answer. So let's look at an example here. I wrote x equals log 749. You could find the answer if you know some of the rules already, but all I want to do is practice rule run here, which is converting. I'm putting an implies arrow. A log 749 equals x means the base is 7, the exponent is x, and the answer is 49. You don't need to solve it. You should probably see that the answer is 2. x is 2. 7 squared is 49. But we're not interested in solving here. Right now we're just practicing rule 1. What does rule 2 tell you? It says log of any base a, if you're logging 1, the answer is always 0. And that should make sense to you because if you believe rule 1, which you should, it's true, rule 2 is just based on rule 1. Look, you don't have to do this, but just look at what's happening. This would be the same as, implies, a to the power of what number equals 1. This is the base, this is the exponent, this is the answer. So a to the power of what equals 1? No matter what a is, could be 7, could be 105, 105 to the power of what makes 1? It has to be 0. That's a rule of exponents. So you don't need to show this work. You just see log of any base, for example, log 15, 1, and you know right away the answer is 0 because only 15 to the power of 0 could give 1. That's rule 2. Rule 3. Rule 3 says log a a to the power of x equals x. And again, you don't have to show this, but using rule 1, look how obvious this is. Convert this to a logarithm. The base is a, and then if you didn't know this was x, that's the answer for this rule. What's the exponent so that you get an answer of a to the x? In other words, what exponent should you put here? a to the power of what exponent gives a to the x? The answer has to be x. Or another way to think about it is logging the same base. If the log is the same base as the base of the exponent, the answer is just the exponent. And you can just remember that rule. Here is an example. A logarithm base 5 to an exponent base 5, the answer is just the exponent. That's it. Rule number 4 is a specific case of rule number 3, which is log AA equals 1. Again, that's just like thinking rule 1 a is the base to what exponent has to equal a. a to the power of what equals a. Obviously the power is 1. So when you're doing this, if you see log 3, 3, you can just write 3 to the power of what equals 3. The answer is just 1. Just jump right to the answer. Log base of 3 of the number 3 just gives you 1. That's rule 4. Rule 5 is a lot like rule 3. If you have a base a and then you log a x, you get x back. So I won't explain it again. It's the same sort of explanation. But here, for example, I have base 9 and then I have log base 9. Those two operations cancel out and you just get 14. That's rule 5. Here's a really important rule, rule 6. It's so important I also count it as one of the laws of logarithms. It says that if you have log base a of x to some exponent, the exponent can be brought down and treated as a coefficient only in the case of logarithms. You won't believe how many people on their test do it with exponentials. You can't. Only with logarithms, if there's an exponent on a logarithm, that exponent becomes the coefficient. In other words, let's look here. For log base 3 of the 2 to the power of x, you can rewrite that as 6 times log base 3, 2. That is, this exponent became a coefficient. And sure, you could solve this, but I'm just demonstrating the rule right now. The exponent becomes the coefficient. For rule number 7, it says log of any base a of any negative number is undefined. That's because the logarithm parent functions log base 2, log base 3, log base 4. It doesn't matter. Any log base of a negative number, the graph won't have anything for negative numbers. It's undefined. So if I ever give you, and I like to give it on tests, the log of some base of a negative number, the answer is undefined. You can't have 
log of a negative number. By the same token, rule of logs number eight, you can't log zero. The reason for that is, again, if you think about the graph, any of the parent function logs, log base five, log base nine, log base a billion, they'll have a vertical asymptote at zero, which again makes it undefined. So if you ever see log any base of the number zero, that's undefined. Can't log negative, can't log zero. Finally, what's probably the most important rule, maybe tied with rule six, is rule nine. We use that a lot. Rule nine says, if you have any base A for their logarithm of B, you can change that to some other C base and do log of base C of this B divided by log of the base C you chose, A. Let's look at an example to show you how this algebra works out. It says, for example, let's say you have log base three of four. You could convert that to some other base. Let's say log base seven of four divided by log base seven of three. That's what this rule says. When you have log base three, four, you can change it to log four over log three of any base you want. So why is that useful? I'm gonna do another example. This is log 417. On your calculator, you have a log button, and that log button is base 10. So the best part about rule nine is it allows you to use your calculator to solve it. This is hard to do by hand, really hard, but easy with a calculator. You just change it using rule nine. This is the same as log base 10. Why did I pick base 10? Because that's the calculator button is base 10. So log base 10 of 17 over log base 10 of four. And now I can calculate that using my calculator. I go, what's log base 10? It's automatically in there of 17. That's an important note to self. When you write a log, if there's no base here, it's understood to be 10. That's the default. If you can leave out the 10 here, if there's no number as the base, it's base 10. Log 17, base 10, divided by log base 10 of four, and you get approximately it's round to two decimal places, 2.04. The three means round down. And that's rule nine in action. And so those are your nine rules of logarithms.